Hi guys. So let's start a discussion today by looking at multi-dimensional version of Gersanov's theorem. So let's assume that we have a probability space given by capital Omega, a sigma algebra and a probability measure. Okay. Define on this probability space we're going to have a d-dimensional Brownian motion. So WT basically is a d-dimensional Brownian motion. Since it's a d-dimensional Brownian motion, we can write down its components as a vector. We can write WT as a vector of W1T, W2T, all the way to WDT. Where each one of these is basically a one-dimensional Brownian motion. And we said that these are going to be independent of one another when we were discussing multi-dimensional Brownian motions in our previous lectures. Okay, so all these individual components are independent of one another. Associated with this Brownian motion, we're going to have a filtration f of t. Okay, and we're also going to have a multi-dimensional adapted stochastic process given by theta t. And that can also be written as theta 1t, theta 2t, all the way to theta d of t. Okay, now let's define a random variable given by z of t. And this is nothing but exponential function of minus integral 0 to t, theta of u, dw of u, minus half integral 0 to t, double more theta of u, square du okay and let's also define another process given by w tilde of t which is nothing but w of t plus integral 0 to t theta of u du okay now we said that let's basically assume that we have a random variable z which is nothing but z at time t okay and and we're going to define a new probability measure and we're going to use the new probability measure is going to be p tilde and we're going to assign each set a a probability given by this formula integral over a of z of omega dp of omega okay where z of omega is nothing but this z of t okay now when we when we assign probabilities using this formula we said that p tilde basically is a probability measure and under this probability measure this um, process W tilde of t will be a multi-dimensional Brownian motion. It's going to be a d-dimensional Brownian motion. So under P tilde W tilde is d-dimensional Brownian motion. Okay, very similar to what we discussed when we were discussing uh, single-dimensional Gersanov's theorem. Here we basically have a multi multi-dimensional round in motion and we have a multi-dimensional adaptive process we define z in a similar fashion i'm just going to explain what these integrals are then we define another process and under this probability measure this basically process is a brownian motion that's what the multi-dimensional girsanov's theorem basically says okay where this integral zero to t theta of u dw of u can be written as integral 0 to t summation j equals 1 to d theta j of u dw j of u or we can take the summation outside this integral and this will then become j equals 1 to d integral 0 to t theta j of u dw j of u okay and this basically nothing but the norm and the norm we can write here this norm is nothing but square root of summation j equals 1 to d theta j square of u okay so we're not going to prove this but this basically is what a multi-dimensional Gersanov's theorem basically looks like very similar to what we discussed when we were discussing single dimension Gersanov's theorem. So here we're going to have a multi-dimensional Brownian motion and associated with this Brownian motion we have a filtration. Then we have a d-dimensional adaptive process. We define a random variable z of t 
using this formula then we are, we're going to define another process w tilde of t which is w t plus this integral then if we assume z is equal to z of t and we define probabilities using this formula then under this probability measure this basically will be a d-dimensional round in motion and what do we mean by d-dimensional round in motion okay this basically equation can be written as its individual components w tilde of j of t is nothing but w j of t plus integral 0 to t theta j of u du okay and all of these components because they are this process is a d-dimensional round in motion all these individual components are going to be independent of one another under p tilde okay because this basically is this is a d-dimensional round in motion under p tilde that basically means its components are going to be independent of one another under p tilde and components are given right here okay so that basically is uh, how uh, d-dimensional Gersanov's theorem basically looks like okay hopefully it was easy to understand uh, now let's actually move over and let's discuss uh, d-dimensional martingale representation theorem okay guys so now let's talk about uh, the multi-dimensional version of martingale representation theorem so this discussion is going to be very similar to what we've already discussed when we were talking about single dimensional uh, martingale representation theorem so we're going to have a probability space given by our sample space a sigma algebra and a probability measure defined on this probability space we're going to have a multi-dimensional round in motion given by wt okay and this brown motion is going to generate a filtration ft okay so the difference here is this filtration is generated by the brown motion whereas when you were talking about girsanov's theorem that wasn't the case okay that was a filtration uh, for the brown motion not generated by the brown motion so there was a difference which i've already explained earlier in my lectures so now we have a filtration which is generated by this uh, a brown in motion now let's consider we basically have a martingale process this is basically given by mt and this basically is a martingale in this probability measure and using this filtration ft okay this is a prob uh, this is a martingale under under p using the filtration ft that basically means that expected value of m of t given information at time s is equal to m of s right and this filtration is generated by the brown in motion so if you basically have a martingale under p and using this filtration then martingale representation theorem basically states that we can basically find a adapted process a d-dimensional adapted process in this case because we are considering a d-dimensional uh, brown in motion which is given by tau of t and this basically is a d-dimensional adaptive process which can be written as tau 1 of t tau 2 of t all the way to tau d of t okay so it's a multi-dimensional adaptive process martingale representation theorem says that we can find a um, adaptive process tau of t such that this martingale can be represented as an initial condition or an initial value plus a integral given by tau of u dw of u okay so very similar to uh, the the one dimensional version of martingale representation theorem so if you basically have a martingale then it can be represented as uh, initial value plus this eto's integral okay now we can take this further we can say okay uh, we we already have defined this to be a, a brown in motion under p and basically ft was a filtration generated by this brownian motion further now we can uh, 